Oh, I think it's around here somewhere. I mean, oh my goodness. Oh, hi. I'm Paul Dolsky from Haunted Vermont, and this is the 10th anniversary or 9th anniversary, depending on how you want to say it. But right behind me, right exactly, right over here, I can actually see it from right here. I don't know if you guys can, but we're going to get up and close and personal to the three new Boston forgotten graves. So back in 2013, I actually came here with my friend Randy, and he helped me film this. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, somebody with me right now, so it's awfully quiet. The only thing is, though, the insects are out. So it's not like there's anything mysterious around me, because uh, there wouldn't be any insects around me at all if that was the case. So I think I'm safe on that end. Um, but this is the area where they said New Boston took place in Chittenden a long time ago. Um, I don't really know too much more about it except for that it was an old town. There's supposedly old foundation somewhere around here, but I've never came across any and I have never found anybody that could actually point me into the direction of old foundations here to help really clarify that this in fact is an old village town. However, when you do look at the Chittenden history, there is some pr proof there that, you know, I don't know how much proof, but there is something. I'm going to try to see if I can get that in the video for this segment. If not, I apologize. But anyway, just like the last couple videos, you're about to see me with the EMF and the spirit box. And I wonder if we can find anything in the dead quiet wood right in the back of Mountaintop Inn, which is also supposedly another haunted area. So here we are in the backyard of uh, Mountain Top Inn. Let's see what we can come up with. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, this is a treat and a half. I haven't been here since 2013. This place has overgrown so much, it feels like. Like, I just don't even recognize it, and it's amazing. So right now, let's turn on the EMF. And right now, we're staying at about one light. So we're going to see what we can do here. And uh, we're going to put it here. And we're going to take off my glasses. And we're about to use two different type of EMF. So we'll see what's about to go down. So let's change location and let's see what happens. All right, guys, so Nathaniel Wheeler, if that's even your, your name, are you here with us? Can you make this a spike? Can you either turn that into a 0 0.15, give us something, even give me a 2.4, 2.5. Hell, if you like it, for any of you here, that I've also heard there's a husband, wife, and possibly kid here, if you could, please play with the lights on the left side. If you like to make that flicker a little bit and raise it up to the yellow dot, which is in the middle, that would be great. Otherwise, if you would like to mess around and give this number a 3.0, that would be great as well. Don't be shy. 
Are you guys still watching over your own grave? Do you feel forgotten? I hope not. You know, this has seen better days, especially this one over here. For Nathaniel Wheeler, I'm assuming. And I see a, either a birth date or a, uh, maybe a death day of July 30th. Can you make that spike and let me know? Am I correct? Can you let me know that you are actually here with me today? Really quiet here. I don't know if anybody is actually here around these graves or not anymore. Basically staying at a 0, 0.0 and it has not even flickered a different light yet at all either. Very interesting. So right now, I'm going to turn this into the spirit box. And we're going to reverse it. Are you here with us? Can you make a noise for us? Can you say hello? Is anybody here? Guys, I've forgotten. All right, for a yes or no question, would you guys like me to come bring you flowers? I'll bring you flowers. All I need is a yes or no. Would you like some flowers? Are you guys even buried here? Uh, 
All right, I'll see you guys later. Well, there you guys have it. Um, there is three mysterious graves here. Um, there's some weird fight going on, but I'm not taking that too much into seriousness. It could be one of the equipment that could have possibly have, have triggered the 0 0.2 or 0 0.4 that I saw. I don't know if the camera got it, though. But there's either three or four here. One right here. I have no idea if it is a grave or not, because if it is, it is beyond readable. And this one, this bigger one right here behind me, it is almost not readable as well. I mean, there is a July 30th here, and that's about as far as I can read it. And if that does say Wheeler right there, um, you know, it's getting to be unreadable. And then over there against the tree, we got the initials of MW and I want to say EW. So that's why I'm wondering if this is the family plot with the husband, wife, and children, or at least a kid. But if that is another kid grave, I can't tell. And then this one over here is even getting to be unreadable. And it's really sad. And I w still wish we could do something for this family plot right here. I wish we could, like, move them or something. Because why on earth are they here off a trail behind the mountaintop inn? And yet nobody, this isn't even a cemetery. This is literally just a piece of land or piece of the forest that is just off the road right over here. And I was actually able to drive up here. And last time, nine years ago, I actually had to walk up here. I had to hike. So it was really interesting that I could actually drive up here. And I almost missed this because it had changed in the last ten, nine, ten years almost. So it's, it's ridiculous. And I just wish we can do more for this. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe we can do something more for these, for these people. And not let the Wheeler family be forgotten.